कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉकस्टार के फूफी के मुंडे को पित निकल आई गाइस वी गॉट आई टॉक अबाउट जीटीएस सिक्स इमीडिएटली ओके पुट योर सीट बेल्ट्स ऑन क्लेंच योर बर्ड चीक्स क्योंकि गाइस वी गॉट ब्रांड न्यू जीटीएस सिक्स गेम प्ले लीक्स We're gonna talk about GTA 6 trailer number two as well. We got the Lucia Bruna getting leaked out for the billion time yeah. once again. So let's actually get into it. Shout out to the homie Spet Nas. I got a video that I want to share with you. Like the video if you hope that we do not get Shark Cards 2.0. Dislike the video if you want it. Dislike the video if you want it. I want to know where you at. Roll it. So since GTA 6 is coming out kind of soon, it should be in fall of 2025, and they have doubled down on that, saying it will come out around that time. It shouldn't yeah. have any delays. But since it's coming out soon, there's been a lot of leaks about the game. Apparently, they plan on adding new cities as the game goes on, which is kind of crazy because typically GTA games have always started in one city and yeah. just kind of stayed in that one city. Like, for example, GTA 5 is in Los Santos. And if you've ever been to LA, you know that it's very detailed. Los Santos and LA are like almost one to one. They are super identical, which is the point, right? They're making these maps to. Yeah, that's why in real life it take hours to go from one point to the other. Meanwhile, meanwhile in the game it takes like what three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. It's very impressive. So this time, GTA 6, bro, it better, it better, it better, it better. Okay, I'll leave it to, to be that. immersive and look really realistic. And GTA 6 is supposed to take place in Miami, but Yay. apparently, as the game goes on, they're gonna be adding more maps, which is gonna be crazy. Like actually, that's some Fortnite level development for GTA. If GTA actually adds stuff like this over time, it is gonna be the biggest game to ever release. Maybe like Fortnite is arguably one of the biggest games to ever exist. You could say Roblox and Minecraft are like also in the same tier, but Fortnite is like the actual main developers adding content constantly. If GTA 6 does that that is going to be crazy this will oh, be yeah. a money oh, printer yeah. for rockstar the game will also reportedly have two playable protagonists and those characters are jason and lucia so <laughs> instead of having three protagonists like gta 5 it is now two which is not really a big deal i just hope that they do not turn jason into a strong independent queen okay i hope they don't do it man like the video if you agree i hope jason is not a simp in the game which is how they want to do the story there's no issue with that or huge positive with that we'll just have to see what happens with that and there's also going to be a big focus on heist and drug trade which i think is a really good thing love it, because love heists it. are one of the best things in gta 5 it was my favorite mission to do and it also got you the most money how many heists did we have in the single player? I believe we had like four, five, maybe six, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least one of the missions that got you the most money. To be honest, I'm not super up to date with GTA. So if you still play GTA, I could be totally wrong. And you know that I'm wrong. But from what I remember, heists were a good way to make money. And also one of the only fun ways of doing it because all the other missions were kind of boring and tedious. And the drug trade aspect is going to be interesting. Like, for example, can I automate a drug trade to just constantly make money? Is that a thing I can do? Because if it is, I'm going to do it. And also, am I going to be able to do that in online? Like, can I have an automatic drug trade online so I can make money and not have to buy shark cards? Is that going to be an option? Because I really hope. FBI, this man, this man, bro, this man, this man, this man, go in right now, go in right now. It is. I really do hate shark cards. They are insanely expensive. And I think my biggest ask for GTA 6 is to make a way to make money that doesn't require shark cards. Because, yeah, it is genuinely insane how slow it is to make money in GTA 5. I it agree. should not be that slow. If you want people to play the game, there needs to be a way to make money in online that isn't cheating or buying shark cards. Because those are really the only two viable ways to get money in GTA Online. Fast, it is ridiculous fast. how slow it is. No lies detected. Absolutely. This is what I'm talking about, man. Like the video if you don't want shark cards 2.0, man. <laughs> Yo, absolutely, bro. Like, the, the, the earn rate should be improved upon. This is, um, come on, man. Like, Rockstar gotta do this. These suckers make... These suckers make so much money off of that dumb stuff, man. The, make no mistake, we're gonna have crazy ass microtransactions, especially with the addition of GTA Plus. Oh, it is looking bleak, man. The future looking bleak when it comes to uh, all the all that monetization aspect. But I still hope for the, the the fact that we got good good earn rate and people can play missions and make money. Uh, as well and grind the game naturally and organically thank you for subscribing because I've, i have a feeling that they're gonna go like crazy with microtransactions this time but reportedly they're also gonna be focusing on interactivity so being able to interact with things like a gumball machine which just kind of makes sense rockstar is known for doing this really highly detailed stuff and if red dead 2 is anything to go by it is going to be insanely detailed that game had so many little details in it the one that i always see pop up is horse balls because it's a thing and they have a weather animations which is insane also so please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to hit 5,000.
500k, please, and thank you. And there's apparently going to be 1,500 world events. And if this is what I think uh, it is, which is random events in GTA 5, like, like that, that is an insane jump in numbers because GTA 5 only hit 57 random world events. So if there's 1,500, that is actually insane. Like, it makes a lot more... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, Bruh. Nah, say you swear to God, bro. Say you swear to God, there's no way. So 1500 versus 57 of GTSA, uh, GTA 5. Or says now why this game took so long, if that's what we think it is. There's also going to be highly improved. You guys could have made it like 100 world events. Okay, now you got 1500, so please do not reduce it, puppy. Thank you. But, but like, you, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, you guys could have made it like 100 world events and dropped the game like 5 years ago, 6 years ago, 10 years ago, bruh. We should have had this game by now, man. We should have had... We should be getting hyped for GTA 8 around this time, bro. What are we talking about? We should have had GTA 7 already by now, bro. We should all... We should have been getting hyped up for GTA 8 in current times. This like, took a long ass time, bro. So I, I really hope GTA 6 is good. And I hope it does last. But I hope that uh, the next GTA game comes out in 5-6 years. From now because judging by and based on what's going on right now bro i wouldn't be shocked if the next gta game comes out <laughs> when we're grandparents with like five ten grandkids man you, you know what i mean like at, at this point this is how it feels like proved water physics which like i don't really care the water physics in gta 5 are like okay the game yeah. came out like the 2010s or something so yeah i don't really care I assume they would be better, but yeah, it's not really a big deal to me. And then there will also be an online mode with roleplay. And this is honestly a no brainer. I'm surprised Rockstar has not done it for GTA 5 because GTA RP is huge. Like yeah. all those GTA RP servers you see have a huge wait list to get in. People really <laughs> like the GTA roleplay. So yeah, an official version from Rockstar will be very interesting. I don't know how they'll manage it though, because if you're running a roleplay server, you have to make sure people are roleplaying. And if people are not roleplaying, they usually get banned. So Rockstar has to make sure that people are roleplaying or else the servers are going to evolve really quickly. But that will definitely be very interesting. And I'm sure a lot of- And, and I really do hope that roleplay, they also bought uh, the, the 5M, 5M, right? And I really hope the role playing is also on consoles because uh, I, I do have a very good PC, blessed with that. But I prefer playing on consoles. Yeah, I, I know, guys. I know. I, know. I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm a console peasant. What, what else can I say, man? I'm a console peasant. So uh, a lot of people are as well, man. So yeah, I, I hope on PlayStation and Xbox. After all, this game is going to be coming out on PlayStation and Xbox first. Sadly, I guess, or happily, or sadly. I don't know depends on how you view it but but yes it needs to be on consoles as well because that's where the majority of the market is at if it's not on consoles then it's gonna be a missed opportunity i really hope it's on console and it's gonna boost up the replay value of this game by times 10 let's be let's be real gta fans are very happy about that and apparently a 2026 delay is on the table in the case of an emergency but they have doubled down and said they're not going to do that so we'll have to yeah. wait and see i'm sure they might if they end up needing to but it's probably if they yeah uh, to be honest it's a good sign that they once again reiterated that it's going to be coming out fall 2025 and this time they said fall 2025 right so absolutely absolutely so it can come out between september uh october and november is what we're hearing that's like the fall google that if uh, <laughs> if you want to be very precise with it like I, I i think it's between september october and november not necessarily december but although it can be right like let's be real but yes we're like almost a year away because we're in august right now think about this way guys seriously think about this way it's gonna oh, it's gonna blow your mind bro it's gonna i i know a lot of your dogs might be looking like this right now but it's facts it is facts so we're halfway through august maybe you're watching this video in december and if you're watching this video in december if you're watching this video in 2025 bro what are you doing we so close now if you're watching this video in 2050 please let us know or you know what forget about 2050 if you're watching this video in 20 uh, by the end of 2025 tell us if the game came out or not man because if this game gets delayed i swear to god man i'm gonna beat y'all asses on my mama in gta 6 in gta 6 not gonna take the matter in my own hands in real life in gta 6 i will take the matter in my controller uh or in my hands with the controller if that makes sense Bruh. yeah right but but now uh so it it needs to come out by the end of the year and they have confirmed it reiterated even that it's gonna come out good to know but these suckers make no mistake these suckers can always delay it three months before launch 
that's kind of like the window right the window of opportunity the window to delay the game the window to delay the game so if all is good in the hood three months before launch then i think it's good then 95 percent sure it's good five percent meaning being five percent being it can delay be probably gonna be fine at this point Hope not it's been a while they have a lot of time still the map is also gonna be apparently two times the size of gta 5 which is huge because the gta 5 map is huge and 70 percent of buildings will be enterable which is also a huge increase because in gta 5 most of the buildings you can't go into most of the buildings are just on this one i'm sorry guys but i gotta call it cap i gotta call it cap I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it because 70% uh, enterable buildings, dog. Like, we got PlayStation 5, bro. We don't have PlayStation 20, bro. We need PlayStation. <laughs> we need PlayStation 20 for that to happen, bro. It's there to be props, basically. That was one of the things that disappointed me about GTA 5. The fact that I couldn't go into any of the buildings kind of sucked. So, seeing that I might be able to enter all of them, or pretty much all of them in the future, is good. I am happy about that. And apparently, they're also going to be adding three major cities total and four smaller cities, as well as three different islands, two of which are inspired by Cuba and the Bahamas. So, we'll see what happens with those. Those could be the lineups for the future. Or what comes out on release we don't really know we'll really just have to wait and see what the cities because honestly i won't be shocked if you go in a particular direction by taking your boat or your plane i i wouldn't be shocked if there's like the secret location is cuba and i want to see secret locations like that for example north yankton and gta5 right exactly my point um i i, I wish like north yankton was you know one of, it, it's a secret location but i wish that once you go there in single player it would be unlocked as a secret island it's like on the map but you don't see it till you find it by yourself now of course in gta 5 in the very very beginning the prologue mission you were on north yankton i'm not talking about that right like you're there you did the mission then the game starts don't show me that map on the map itself keep it locked but somehow some way if you go in a particular direction uh and if you go in that said direction and you ended up landing on that map then i then i hope that that map would stay on the map and that's another location to uh visit right because you guys already worked on that you guys uh put it in the game so why not have it as a secret island on the or secret map area on the map right i, I would love to have something like that and for example in this case if cuba ends up being in the game bahamas cubas all that i, I hope it's a secret location because once you go there you unlock it and it stays on the map and i would hope that that's also stays on online it would be lit bro it would be lit like the video if you agree as yeah that's a lot three major cities and four smaller cities where do i even begin to guess on what those are that is too much information and there's also a bunch of new locations that are gonna get added like a disney inspired theme park called fairyland or a nasa inspired space station called sura little things like that and there also will be a feature requiring special tools to get into expensive cars which i think is fine if it lets me steal nicer cars i'm cool with that the police ai will be significantly improved which is good because yeah the police ai in gta 5 are kind of stupid like they will just jump off buildings and stuff they're really they're not kind of stupid bro they are full-on stupid. stupid they're full-on stupid man really dumb and apparently npcs will have their own lives and make real-time decisions based on what's around them and i am uh -huh. worried about this because the last time i was told this for a game it was city skylines 2 and that game ran horribly so yeah i am worried about this because i don't know exactly what this means and i also feel like it's being oversold because i don't think they're gonna react like it's being described i think they're gonna react really stupidly like they always have been because yeah the npcs in games have not improved that much and i don't see yeah, them improving yeah, yeah. that much then again i could be wrong i am just worried worried about this because it sounds resource intensive and the last time i was told this the game came out busted and i just really don't want this game to be released in a busted state because it's been too long to be released broken please uh, yeah to be honest though like think about it this way right if this game comes up busted broken at launch full of bugs full of shiza yeah guys like it, it's not like we're gonna get gta 7 right after right we're not gonna get it this is it this is it if it's good, it's amazing. If it's bad, it's over. It's over. It is over. Fineto, Danzo, Gonzo means over. Okay? Because this is it. This is it. We're not getting GTA 7. Please, Rockstar, do not release it broken. 
Please. So yeah, I'm a little worried about that, but it should be fine. I'm going to assume it's going to be fine. Gore and Dismemberment should also be returning. And honestly, I didn't know a GTA game had that. And apparently GTA 3 and Vice City both had it. And they never really put it into GTA 4 and GTA 5. So if it's anything like Red Dead 2 Gore, I think it's good. And I don't see an issue with that. It's fun and cartoony. It's not like crazy violent or anything. Yeah. So I don't really care. If it was at like Mortal Kombat levels of gore, that'd be too extreme for a GTA game in my opinion. But yeah, Red Dead 2 stuff, who cares? That's fine. They're also going to be adding really cool clouds and dynamic weather systems, which is like, okay, that sounds cool. I'll wait till I see it, I guess. Honestly, I don't really care that much. And apparently, there will also be a dynamic relationship between Jason and Lucia. So I guess you could, like, really mess up the relationship or something. That could be an interesting mechanic. I can already see the YouTube videos now of making them divorce. There should also be a return of weight gain from San Andreas. <laughs> Lucia is mine. Lucia is mine. Lucia is mine. Lucia is mine. Yeah, Sucker's gonna be simping, bro. Sucker's gonna be the same Sucker's that, that, that were mad. Those are gonna be the same seconds that would be asking for her OnlyFans when she's uh, in the game, bro. Like, dead ass, man. And seconds would, be, seconds would be like, she mine, so she better get that divorce in the game. As well as dual wielding, which both sound sick. If you guys don't know, because I didn't know this, if you eat a bunch of food in San Andreas, your character literally gets fat, and you have yeah. to lose the weight, which I think is, like, pretty cool. I don't see why that shouldn't be a mechanic. And dual wielding is obviously a good thing to put in the game. Like, why not? And they'll also be adding football, surfing, and mud clubs. And if you didn't know what a mud club was, because I didn't, it's where people get really, really big lifted trucks and drive them in mud. They shouldn't be driving it. And they get muddy. That's, like, pretty much it. It looks a lot like this scene from a trailer. So yeah. that's probably what it is. And then basketball, Holy. tennis, bowling, gyms, fishing, shooting ranges, and nightclubs and golf clubs and strip clubs will also all be returning to GTA 6, which also makes sense. All of those line up. And that is all for the leaks. Hopefully GTA 6 is good. It's sounding like it's going to be good, but we'll yeah. wait and see because... Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done, and we had a ton more gameplay leaks on this one. Check out this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there. If you have already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We got some bad news about GTA 6 as well. Good news on the right, bad news on the left. Check it out and I'll see you right there.